The traditional art of making liu pao tea is usually understood to be fully handmade. However, with the development of production and technology, mechanical production methods have gradually emerged in the traditional processes. Previously, we learned about the handicrafted techniques of traditional crafted liu pao tea. Today, we're studying the similarity between mechanical and handmade techniques of traditional craftsmanship. The main process also includes fresh leaves, spreading, fixation, kneading, piling, re-kneading, unblocking, drying, cooling, and bagging, etc. First, let's look at the requirements of fresh leaves. Pick the paired leaves which have one bud and one leaf, or one bud and three or four leaves of equal tenderness, according to the picking standard. Freshly picked leaves should be kept fresh, staged and processed on the same day. The incoming raw materials should be withered or staged before being fixated to improve the quality. Freshly picked leaves should be spread for 12 to 18 hours with a thickness of 3 to 5 cm. When the smell of green grass disappears and the fragrance is fresh, it is ready to be fixated. Start to fixate the raw material by spreading it moderately using continuous fixation roller machine. The temperature of the machine reaches about 200 to 220 degrees, and the fresh leaves are ready to be put in. Fresh leaf transfer machine transfers fresh leaves to rolling machine. After about two minutes, the fixated leaves have been produced. It should be fixated evenly. Fixate until the leaves are soft and slightly dry. Leaf color turns to dark green. Grass smell basically disappears and the fragrance of tea spreads. It is moderate that stalks are folded, but not broken. Knead while the leaves are hot right after fixation. Put the leaves on the kneading machine and knead them while they're hot, generally 20 to 30 minutes depending on the degree of twisting. Adopt light heavy light pressurization method. At present, the basic method is to knead while hot. Kneading can be stopped in the middle for unblocking and sieving. The tea at the bottom of the sieve is piled and mulled, and the coarse tea head at the top of the sieve is re-kneaded, and then piled and mulled in the machine. Liu Pao tea kneading is mainly shaping, and cell crushing rate is supplementary. Because Liu Pao tea needs to be brewable, the cell crushing rate is not easy to be sufficient, so the cell crushing rate should be around 65%. The process of piling is the key to the unique quality of Liu Pao tea. The purpose is to promote the transformation of the contained substances through the moist heat of the pile, reducing bitterness and astringency, mellowing the taste, eliminating greenish odor, developing special aroma, destroying chlorophyll, changing leaf color to dark yellowish brown. Stacking The process of accumulating the tea leaves after fixating and kneading to include changes in the inner substances. Piling the process of changing the contents of tea leaves by accumulating them for a suitable period of time under appropriate conditions of temperature and humidity. Generally, the kneaded green leaves are passed through the fixating machine again. The temperature of the machine is 120 to 150 degrees. The tea leaves are held in the hand without sticking to the lump and then stacked under natural conditions. The height of the pile is 30 to 40 centimeters and it takes about 22 hours for the temperature to drop from 60 degrees to 35 degrees, which is a natural temperature change of the pile. No need to turn the pile if the temperature can fall naturally. If the temperature does not fall naturally, such as the middle part of the leaf more than 60 degrees, you need to turn the pile to avoid burning pile and causing deterioration. After the stacking process, the tea billet has lost some water and the ropes are loose usually need to be re-kneaded once to tighten the ropes. Repeat kneading time is about 10 minutes, without adding pressure. Some manufacturers use a low temperature of 50 to 60 degrees for 7 to 10 minutes before re-kneading to soften the tea billets so as to facilitate the re-kneading to achieve being fine and firm. Getting through the fixation machine for declumping with machinery to make traditionally crafted liu pao tea. Many tea factories use continuous roller machine before drying. It can be used to unblock the tea, as well as to tidy up the tea sticks to make them tight and even. 
After passing through the machine, the tea billets can be dried by automatic drying machine. It can be used when the dryness reaches 50%. The drying of Liu Pao tea is generally divided into two times, that is, the initial roasting and full roasting to complete the drying. Initial drying air inlet temperature is 130 degrees. The full baking temperature is slightly lower than 90 to 100 degrees and the speed is adjusted to 25 to 35 revolutions per minute. After drying, the tea leaves are allowed to cool down to room temperature before they are backed and stored. In this class, we learn the art of the mechanically making the traditionally crafted Liu Pao tea. Among them, heaping is the key to the production. However, the traditional process of stewing is not long enough, and the inclusions have a limited extent of transformation. So the tea color is not deep enough, only presents red and yellow color. The quality is comparable to the raw Liu Pao tea in the industry. What is the key process of traditionally crafted Liu Pao tea?